All right, Taurus. They won't ignore us, baby. No, they won't, my dears. It is Mira. It is Shira. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Red Tarot, and I am back at it again. One time for the one time to let you know the energy surrounding you for October 2020. Show me the monthy. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. Shout out to every last one of you guys who has clicked, liked, and subscribed to this video or any one of my videos thank you so much for showing all the love and support um if anyone would like to book a personal private reading if these videos resonate and you guys want to send some support and love my birthday is coming up on sunday so if you guys want to send some love and you know support my way for my birthday you can always check the description box or the about tab on my YouTube page. It has my booking information and various forms of support. And if you just want to contact me to just say happy birthday or if these videos resonate and you know you just want to talk to me personally, the best way to contact me is through Instagram, okay? So my Instagram link is in the description and in the about tab. So just send me a message on Messenger. Um, and if you do not have Instagram, you can connect with me through email or through uh, Google Hangouts. Uh, Google Hangouts is a free, easy app to download. Only thing we need to exchange with each other is our email for us to communicate and to do the video chat readings with each other. So my email is scorpionrays at gmail.com. And again, all of that information is in the description in an about tab. So um, if you have any questions or concerns, or like I said, just want to send some love or support, and check me out in the description or the about tab. And I just want to say thank you in advance for all of the birthday shout outs and well wishes. So you guys did the damn thing last year. So I already feel the love already. So thank you in advance. As you know, Taurus, we're going to give love and acknowledgement to the creator before we go into anything. So we're going to bow our head in prayer. Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Taurus. They will not ignore us. Father God, we came here for our blessings and for the many, many lessons that we are coming into in the new phases of our life, you know, that are going to elevate us and that's going to show us a new approach to life so that we can find security, longevity, and just warmth and comfort in our life, Father God. We thank you for the blessings that you placed on our footsteps ahead, Father God. We just no, right now is our time. Right now is our time to shine. Right now is our time to replan and rebuild and to refocus and to continue to dedicate ourselves towards the growth that we've already created. We've already done enough. Now it's time to do even more. It's time to build even more. It's time to grow taller. It's time to grow stronger. So, Father God, continue to place your glory on us, Father God, because they don't know our story. And like I said, Taurus, they will not ignore us. They will not ignore the bull gang going down here. So, Father God, give us guidance for Taurus for October 2020, Shopping the Money. Thank you so much for all the blessings in the past, present, and future. Amen, amen, amen. Yes. So, let's get into... Now, when I was doing the pre-shuffle... I was most definitely distracted, so I did not get no messages. <laughs> so listen, if y'all want to go ahead and put a timestamp in the chat so people can know when the reading starts, once I get these cards out, I would completely appreciate it. All right, so let's go. Let's see what we got. Center energy. Ooh. This one is just like sticking out to me. I'm going to take you. I'm going to take you, boo. Oh. <laughs> so, as I was saying, I'll take you, boo. <laughs> Y'all started talking to me. in my head this song if you don't want them don't waste your time i'll take a okay i'll take you boo if you don't want them don't waste your time listen someone said i'll go ahead and take that pretty jaw right up off your hands if you don't wanna don't waste her time i'll take her all right come on now taurus Ooh. they will not ignore suzanne you said i will take her I will take her. I will not mistake her. I sure won't. Mm -mm. What are you talking about, Taurus? What are you talking about, Taurus? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm hearing you call her step 
Effity. I call her Effity. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, Slimington. Oh, Slimington. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all play too mad. Oh my goodness, I play too much. It's not I call her Stephanie. You call her Stephanie, I call her Hefty. Come on, someone got that good. Mwah. <laughs> someone got... This girl, out now listen. She done been uh, popped out and damn near every goddamn reading. I don't know. I don't know why this boredness and this doll... What is going on? Like, why? I'm just going, and is she always in the falling right here? And I'm just, listen, we just going to have to take her. Listen, if you don't want to waste her time. Ooh. If you don't want to, don't waste her time. I'll take that. I am so serious. You call her Stephanie. He call her Hephany. <laughs> Look, you call her Stephanie. He call her Hefity. Hey, listen. So, listen. I, I, I feel like if you don't want her, don't waste her time. Because, like, you may be sleeping or what you bored about. Somebody else think that shit is amazing. So, listen. If you don't want her, don't waste her time. Slim over there said I'll take her. You okay? Listen, she don't look too bad to me. You know what I'm saying? Shit, if anything, she might be bored with you. I don't know. She said, the Violet Duchess, stifled, bored, and stuck. Stifled, though? Feeling stifled? Mmm. Y'all need to stop wasting people's time and energy. That's all I'm going to say. Because I, I don't... Just... I don't, I, don't, I don't feel like she's very happy. I feel like... She feel like her time was wasted. If you don't want her, don't waste her time. What's the stuck energy about, though? But you know what? Have you ever been in a situation where it's like... You, ooh. you feel like the situation ain't going your way? Um... You kind of over it, but at the same time, it's like you stuck in the se seven of cups. <laughs> <laughs> looks like she got some options, though. It looks like she may be running away from you with that seven of cups going into that eight of cups, though. Mm. Listen, if you don't want her, do not waste her time. What just fell out? You got the four coins, and then you got the two of swords. Ooh, 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 burr. You got, ooh, ooh, someone is getting curved, baby. Curved. Someone is getting curved big time. She said, I am over you, boo. She feels stifled. She felt like something with you. You just couldn't get with it. You could not get with it. She is over it. She feels bored. Listen, she's running away with that seven of cups going into the eight of cups. She has other options. You know what I'm saying? So, It's something about this rose or whatever this flower is. It's like everything that glitters ain't gold. I don't know if like this is the same flower that she had an allergic reaction to before. I don't know. She seems like she's frightened. Like she's running away from this flower. It's like. The smell makes her nose itch or something like that. Like she knows that she's going to have a bad reaction from it. So that 
everything that glitters ain't gold. You know, like some people may be allergic to things that may look good, but it don't smell good. It don't taste good. It don't feel good. It's not digestible or something like it's going to come back up. Like, have you ever eaten something like and as soon as you ate it, like it didn't even rest in your stomach. It's like you purged it out. Um. I feel it's like your body is rejecting something or your body rejected something. Um, you selected this before and you know to don't do it again. The Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is when someone is... Um, like an emotional block like an emotional block it's just like there's nothing there there's nothing left there's nothing inside of me um whatever little drop is left i'm pouring it out and i want to find something else that's more fulfilling because it doesn't taste good to me anymore you got the four coins in the reverse so this is a situation where it's like um i've given too much or i spent too much on because the four coins is like, in the upright is when someone is not willing to share or open up or, you know. Ugh. All right, you guys. Sorry for the interruption. So, first off, let me put these last two cards down because I done just started eating. I got distracted. Chat out. Listen. Only thing I can tell you here is, it's something about this rose right here in this Seven of Cups. She done broke that cup open. She seen that rose. Whatever it is about that rose, she started running from it. It's something about this rose that she knows not to go towards and she's running away from it. Because remember the lesson of the Seven of Cups is... Like I said, everything that glimmers ain't gold. Sometimes you can choose something and it could be pretty on the outside, but could be rotten on to the core. You know what I'm saying? So everything that glimmers isn't gold. She's running away from this thing. As soon as she saw it, she ran away. Eight of Cups. I'm going away from that. I really do feel like that reminds her of something from her past. Like it's a lesson learned. She doesn't want to revisit or relive that cycle. It's like she's wiser now. The four of coins. Number one, look at the environment of the four of coins. It's two people cleaning and sweeping. It looks like, a, is this a bank or something like that? I don't know what this is. But you see how it's like rats and mice all on the floor like scavengers or something like that. So the four of coins in the reverse represents someone over giving, over spending, um, giving too much information or something. You could have over given, over told, over produced something to a scavenger or to a leech because the four pinnacles is 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 when you lose it's like lack it's like all of your savings got taken away and the reason why i'm saying it got taken away because this mice there like in the norman mice represents like thievery you know like it represents like almost like gossip or something like that. So, um, so I'm getting like, it could have been you and someone else in the picture constantly expected to over give, to gather and to give, you know what I'm saying? To someone who didn't want to work for it themselves because... The four coins going into the five of coins, it's like, this is someone expecting to gain off of someone else's luck. That's kind of what I'm getting. 
I don't like the mice. It's like a dirty environment. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're working amongst rats, rodents, like any little drop on the floor, any little crumb, these bastards going to try to take it. You constantly always having to clean up your environment. So you guys may need to do a cleansing, like a cleaning. You might need to move to a new area. I don't know if you, I don't know. But whatever this, whoever this rodent is, that's why this woman ran away because she knew that. If I choose this rose, it's going to put me in this space where I'm constantly having to give or shell out or over give or over spend. And I'm around someone that's just going to take, 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 take and never provide. It's just like a scavenger. It's like, I know better. Like, I've seen what's in this cup before. Like, hell no, I don't want that shit. It's like... Hell no. The two of swords going into the three of swords. So it's like this woman had a decision to walk into that battle. Or to just move on. Making better decisions in life. You know what I'm saying? It's like. A wise warrior once said all battles are not meant to fight. You know what I'm saying? Every situation is not meant to engage in war. You have to use your strength and your might for when it's really needed. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have a choice at this two of swords state where you're at to leave this person behind or to engage and walk into a three of swords situation. Do you understand something that you know is going to hurt you? Something that you know that you're going to walk away assed out. Because you selected the wrong cup, making the wrong decision, making the wrong choice, just literally going off the face value. Like this could be somebody that may dress nice, may look really nice and all of that. Give you the prestige, the glamour, all of that. Diamond shining. It looks like it's specially made for you, honey. You better listen. You're going to come out empty handed. It's like this person may want you to divulge all the information about how you get your money, what you do, how you did it. But they don't tell you nothing about them because they're scavenging. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to figure out a way to come up off of your involvement. You know, in, in a situation. Then you see the moon with the three in the back. So it's like it's something... This could be like a whole family of rats or some shit like that. So... Like a whole family of rats. Ugh. Anyway, let me keep going. So let's see what the center energy is. I deserve better. Lord Jesus. <laughs> I'm so sorry if these freaking distractions and driving me crazy. But I deserve better. Ring the alarm, and all the sound is crying, oh, hey, ring the alarm, and all the sound is dying, oh, hey, I'm sorry, no, that's why they had to come, yes, ring the alarm, more fire, more fire, I'm so sorry, I deserve better, I'm bored. I'm fucking bored. Like, I have the choice to walk voluntarily into a situation of lack and confusion and buffoonery. Why in the hell would I willingly walk into a third party situation where a person want me and a whole nother bitch to constantly give to them and give the... No. And this could be a whole family of fucking rats. So it's like all of them could be benefiting and coming off of the work of two women or something like that. I feel like there might be someone who's working two women for the benefit of everyone or something like that. Like a whole family of fucking scavengers. And you ran for the hills. Like you just, it's something it's like you ran for the hills. And then it's like This person, you see how he's handing this girl his little handkerchief as he's going off to do something else. It's like he's leaving her behind or something like that. 
you're running away from this situation because you knew that this person will run away from you. You knew that this would end up being a situation where you give too much and as soon as you run out of money you don't have nothing to give this person is going to make a decision on you and they're going to walk away and, 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 and choose something that best suits this family of rats like I swear like this is crazy this is dead ass crazy and like whoever this woman is it's like I deserve better like I'm bored with this like maybe this person was attracted to you because of your fabrics and things I feel like this has to do with a very appearance and superficial base situation because this is a superficial thing it glitters it shines but baby it ain't gold her intuition told her to run baby to get the fuck what is this the moon i'm trying to tell you her intuition told her something ain't right it's like in her dreams in her dreams, like, I don't know, like, or she could have just felt like she was just sinking in a situation where it's like, I want to pick up this rose, but something is telling me to don't touch it. It's like every time that you go to sleep, it's like spirit be calling you and it be telling you, like, you've seen this shit in your dreams and like, You've ex this. I feel like this is deja vu or something like that. It's like either it's a repeated cycle where it's like the same shit, dip different toilet where you drifted away before, and it's like they. It's like they're saying you lost your intuition. It's like you were you drift into an illusion into make believe into so you know what i'm saying and it turned out to be something other than what you imagined because this is like an imagination this is an illusion you know what i'm saying y'all could be dealing with a water sign like a paint a, a pisces a cancer and i just heard a leo too I can't see a Taurus and a Leo getting together though. I don't know why. Anyway, um, I feel like you would, someone was drifting and falling into an illusion about a situation with someone. But I want to say that your intuition quickly gathered you back up. Because as much as you wanted to believe that this thing was what you imagined, like, once you had to deal with the reality of it and you weren't in your head and in your fantasies, you felt stifled. Like, it's something about this person that you knew that this person either has someone else lurking in the background. This person is just fucking with me to take what I got. This person ain't got shit. Is a scavenger, bottom feeding, just scrounging, just like, and again, I see two women. I feel like this person, and then you see the moon right here, you see the moon right here. I feel like this person could have most definitely had two women that he was working for whatever they can get. And someone, their intuition, is like they were drowning in thoughts, drowning in, okay. This person was drowning in their light, in their darkness. Do you understand? In the light, it's like the light is calling to them like, baby, listen, something ain't right. I got a sneaky suspicion about this person. You deserve better. Pay attention. But then the shadow was like, oh, but this is the one. This is everything I wanted it to be. And I'm falling in love. And we're going to get married. And... Oh my God, it's just amazing. But this one, like, hold on, bitch. <laughs> Wake up. Listen, don't go, don't drift too far, bitch. Hello. Hello. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I feel like someone was battling within the darkness and the lightness of their personality. You know what I'm saying? Like having like a bipolar experience within a relationship. Because as soon as you came up out of that illusion, you get right here. It's like you feel stifled you feel like someone is doing you wrong something ain't right man 
something ain't right. And I can't keep allowing myself to drift into this illusion because every time I wake up, something is telling me to run the fuck away from here. Run away, run away because every time I'm around this person, I'm having to overgive, overspend. This person isn't giving me nothing. This person isn't telling me nothing. But I'm having to like, I just feel like someone's trying to work me. The decision is mine. Either, either or, this person is going to walk away from me. The Three of Pentacles, yeah, this is a third party situation, most definitely. And the shit ain't working. It's like the shit is not fucking working. It's not working. That's why this woman is running towards her other options. Because she's tired of giving. Like, listen. Why in the hell am I putting all this work in right here and you too busy focused on helping someone else? Like, it's like... You could have been over giving. Like I'm trying to tell you, you could have been over giving, telling this person everything about you in this in in I really do feel like you told someone too much information and allowed them to take advantage of your kindness of your wealth or something. Like you could have told someone I just came into some money or Because I'm looking at this right here because do you see how these two women are working to, to gather up this money. And I want to say clean up this environment around all these rats. It's like, how can you work around rats? I don't get it. Um, This little group is still in a pinnacle all for itself. It's like, I'm trying to tell you, it's like every time these women make a dollar, they take 50 cents. You know what I'm saying? It's like they find a way. Like this person has people within their family that kind of help. Uh, it's like you get this one and I'm going to get this one. So I don't know if it's like a baby mama over here that's being worked to. And like someone else that someone is dating. But it's like you take two over here. I'm going to take two over here. I'm... Like, God, why do I feel like... Mm -mm. It's like the Three of Pentacles. It's like this man wants both of these women to work together and work in unison and to do the work for him. I really get someone that doesn't... Like, this man doesn't want to work. And he wants these women to do the work for him. And he wants them to come together and provide stability for him in his family. I feel like this man takes from these two and gives to this family of rodents. And he walks away from God. Okay, let me just... This is the king of fucking... Lord, this is the king of diamonds in the reverse. It says, the horror of that moment I shall never forget. This is the king of diamonds in the reverse. So this is like the king of pentacles in the reverse. So, and this is like the king... Of, okay, so the king of diamonds to me is like a mixture of the king of pentacles and the king of swords all together. So this person could be a man that lacks foundation. Like I said, he manipulate. He's smart enough. Like I said, with the diamond energy within him, he's smart enough with that air energy that he knows how to read people. He's very intuitive. He can suss uh, women out that have a spirit on them to take care of people. Like that's what this person wants. Like he seeks out women that needs the feeling of being needed. You know what I'm saying? Like, do you do you get what I'm saying? And he takes advantage of them. This king is in the reverse. Remember this card says the horror of that moment I shall never forget. So, these two women 
may not experience it now, but they'll experience it later. They might not know about each other now, but they'll know each other later. I don't know if, because this is a manipulative piece of fucking shit ass nigga that don't want to work, don't want to do shit for himself. He wants y'all to do his bidding for him. And he could be lying, telling you that he's spending time with his kids or he's going to school or he's going to work. No, he's not. He don't even have a fucking job. You understand what I'm saying? Like... He's over this bitch house while she's at work waiting for her to get off to give him money so he can come give money to his family to pay this and this and that. Then after he do that, because he owed him money, he about to call you work you too. And it's just all about to come together. It's, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are working together to build this 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 comfort and this time. Like, no. The king of pentacles in reverse don't have nothing to give. This is nothing, this is not a situation that you will positively, positively gain from, that you will positively learn from. There's no wisdom here. There's no education. If anything, it's just teaching you how to demean yourself and to diminish your self-worth. If someone wants to be with you, they should be with you. What the fuck is this? A sister-wife partnership or some shit? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is this? What is this? What is this? This man got two women working himself tired and broke to take care of him. I deserve better. And it don't matter as soon as y'all don't have anything to give to him, he will walk away into the sunset. Mmm. Ugh, we got the strength card and then we got the sea beacon fairy. But where will it lead you? Guidance, but where it leads you, there go another three again. Three, three, and three. So I'm trying to tell y'all, baby, you deserve better. The strength and the hermit with the sea beacon fairy. Listen, the sea beacon fairy is basically telling you this. I will guide you wherever you want me to take you. If you want to drift under the moon and fall fantasy some illusion, I will guide your ass right the fuck there. And you can fall victim to your fantasy. And when you get hurt, you can't blame nobody but yourself. Because I'm guiding you to your own illusion. Because that's where you want it to be, right? I deserve better. Or you could decide that you want me to lead you to strength. That strength which is leading into that hermit phase for you to really go within and to find out your self wants, who you are, how to never put yourself in a situation and be around this level of filth again. Now, where do you want to go? Because we all have free will. I can only take you where you want to go. You want to fall victim to the illusion, right? Or do you want to show strength and fortitude? Are we going to conquer this mountain? See, mountains in the Norman represents hurdles. It represents blockages. It represents delays. This is a blockage towards what you really deserve. You should not have to share anything. I should not have to share my time. I should not have to share my wealth. I should have to, I, I no, for you to give it to someone else, for you to not appreciate what I have and, and, and what I'm doing for you, you, you got someone else, do, no, this isn't right, this is like some, this ain't even like high level pimping, this is like crab in a barrel ass type of shit, you know what I'm saying, like this, this is a nigga that ain't got shit and he going to make sure that you ain't got shit neither because whatever you got, he's going to take it and he's going to throw away as soon as he's done with you. And all of y'all left at the bottom together. It's like, where do you want to be? It's like the choice is yours. You got the magician. 
You got the four cups in the reverse. Come on now. You got the ace of wands. It looks like you're going over here towards that strength and that hermit card. Someone said, I'm taking my power back. I don't know. Maybe y'all been like intoxicated. I don't know if you've been drinking a lot with this four cups. But it's like this person's back is turned to me. I feel that shit. It's like intuitively I feel that shit. I'm not about to sit here and ignore that shit. And like drink my sorrows away and act like this person. Because I feel like. You had to use your inner strength with this magician card and this strength card here and to take your power back. You really, really had to. Because you have all of the gifts, you have all of the skills, you have all of the resources to do what you need to do. Because this person is trying to take and leech off of you. This person is trying to bum off of you. You're not trying to bum off of this person at all. You came around with your fancy clothes Spending a lot of money or doing whatever the fuck you were doing or running your mouth. Like I said, running your mouth over telling, over giving. You know what I'm saying? Like off the jump, you could have been overextending yourself or giving someone too much information where someone could have decided to take advantage of you. This person could have tried to keep you drunk. Well, maybe y'all were like, you were so... It was like you were indulging in alcohol or whatever it is. Because typically this means alcohol is some type of substance where it's like you're not aware that this person isn't really giving you the um, affection. They're not giving you the eye contact. They're not giving you the touches. They're not giving you the signals that they like you. You know what I'm saying? It's like really they... I feel like around you for a benefit, they're, but they're slightly rejecting you, but around you for what you can give to them. You know what I'm saying? And I'm saying that because of this. This is someone over giving. If I ask for it, they're going to give it to me. You know what I'm saying? Only thing I got to do is tell them this. And then the famous like, no, no, no. Tell her this. Da, 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 da. That worked with the other one. You know, it's like a... I, ugh, I don't like this. I feel like you're aware, like you're not drunk, like you've sobered up now, like you've taken back your power. You're sobered up. You're aware. You're focused now. You know what I'm saying? I am focused, man. You got the Ace of Wands. It's like you got your passion back. You're ready to, like, have a new beginning in life. I don't think you want any part of this anymore. And it's like, And again, it's like, pay attention to the guidance that you're looking for because it's just like watching tarot. There's how many freaking tarot readers out there? But how many people are giving you the message like this? I deserve better. How many people are trying to lead you back over there? Oh, this person is thinking about you. This person is still loves you. This person is trying to get their self together for you. Like you can, you can listen to that shit if you want to. Or you can listen to the person that's telling you to don't fall a victim to your own illusion because you deserve better and you know you deserve better. You could have picked that junk up before. Like, I feel like maybe this is like the second time that you got a chance to have a selection of many options. I feel like this is the this is the flower that you picked the first time because it was so shimmery and diamond like. You felt like it was. You felt like it was a king of diamonds. But the horror of that moment, I shall never forget. That is why when you came by a selection of options again and you picked that cup up and you seen that motherfucker same goddamn rose in it you dropped that bitch and ran so fast like oh my god oh my god it was like you seen a fucking ghost almost it's like you seen a ghost you seen a ghost it's like uh-uh I gotta take my power back I gotta take my power back I gotta be wise I gotta be awoke 
have to be aware. I'm taking my world back and I'm lighting my own fire. And I'm going with my positive energy. I really do feel like that. The horror of that night, I will never forget. I deserve better. Let's see what this is. The Queen of Clubs. The Queen of Wands. Yeah. You got the Queen of Clubs and the Queen of Wands. Curtsy while you're thinking what to say. It saves time. So this is like the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. Again, I feel like these are two different women. Curtsy, why are you thinking what to say? It saves time. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm going to just tell y'all what I'm getting. I feel like this is someone's mother. Curtsy. While you're thinking what to say, it saves time. This girl right here, the Queen of Clubs and the Queen of Wands, it's like the same thing except for the Queen of Clubs is like the Queen of Wands with a little bit of Queen of Pentacles mixed into it. This one right here, I feel like is... Um, She's very beautiful. I feel like she has a unique beauty. Um, I feel like she's always smiling. She's always happy. She's a go-getter. Like, that's the same thing as this one. I don't know if you're dealing with a light-skinned female and a dark and a brown-skinned female. Not dark-skinned, but like a brown-skinned, chunkier female. And then a, a lighter-complected, slimmer woman. I feel like the mother is harder on... I don't know. I feel, I feel like the woman don't like... I feel like she don't like white women or... Um, Why well, I feel like the person mother don't like white women or don't like light-skinned women or some shit like that. Ooh. She said, I hate y'all little pretty bitches. Like, that's what... Like, who is this person's mother or something? Like... Yo, it just made me look back at this fucking, at these rats, young. I want to say, like, I want to say, like, this, whoever this person is that you got involved with, they ain't shit because their mother ain't shit. Their mother's a rat face ass bitch. Like, she's a jealous, hateful, nasty bitch. I want to say she feels like she's in control of everyone. Um, If you were to be a part of this person's life, like, in um, a visible sense where you around the mother, the mother would try to punk you, would try to like talk to you, try to act like she could control you or she could say whatever the fuck she want to say to you. Bitch, you can't say whatever the fuck you want to say to me. So like, I don't know about how y'all roll, but if it was me, like I'm so like, you not don't, who fuck, what? 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 Like, this is the queen of the rats right here. Like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck you mean? And, like, here you are right here. All joyful, lightful, high-spirited, beautiful and shit. I don't, I don't know. Like, I feel like this person's mother could possibly be jealous of you. It's like, you think you the queen, bitch. I'm the queen. Like, I run shit around here. Like, I run all these little motherfuckers. Like, it's like she could be teaching the dude... How to manipulate women and like, I don't know why I'm getting that. Why the fuck am I getting that? Why am I getting that? And it's like once they tell you that you got to make a choice, just walk away. You know, it's like I, don't, I feel like I take what you can get from them. And as soon as they start asking you questions, just walk away. You always got other options. That's why you always have a one and a two. Like, I feel like the mother is... 
the one that has taught the son this. And then when the women come around, she further doubles down on the pimping. Like she tries to educate them on how to act in her court or something like that. Like this is curtsy and think before you speak to bitch I will smack the shit I'm ooh ooh God forgive me I'm sorry <laughs> oh God forgive me in the name of Jesus woo woo ooh 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 so again do you want this like this is what you like I, I wouldn't want to be a part of this shit I don't I don't know like I don't know if it's a baby mother and like you the girlfriend or some shit like that. And like the mother wrote hard on you or something. Like I don't know. Whatever it is with this three of pentacles. This shit ain't going to work man. This shit ain't going to work. It's like I don't know if I'm seeing into the future. Of what shit would look like if you wouldn't have ran. <laughs> I don't know. Cause it's like the darkness is all on this side and the light is on this side. Are y'all peeping this shit? Look, the light is on this side. The darkness is on this side. Let me see. Jesus. Signs are already with you. Listen. The signs are already with you. It's already been frigid and cold. You already know. And like I told you, sweetheart, you are beautiful. These hoes can't take you, young. The queen of fucking wands. I'm sorry. I feel like it's like you and another girl. It's like y'all are different, but y'all are kind of the same. I feel like one is light skin and one is dark skin. One is a little thick and one is skinny. You see what I'm saying? Like, one is light skin, one is brown skin, one is thick, one is skinny. And she don't like white bitches. She don't like white or light skin pretty bitches. I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> like, she is, the, I'm sorry. I really don't, oh, y'all. Oh, please don't. I'm sorry. And. Please don't think I'm being shady, y'all. I swear to God, I'm just reading these cards, y'all. But I swear on my... Ooh, what is this last card? The Seven of Wands, like, running away from conflict. It's like... You need to run away from conflict. Don't feel like... Oh, I'm sorry. You need to run away from conflict. Like, avoid conflict with this person. Because, like, these people may see you as weak. They feel like you may... I really do feel like this one is advising this one in this Three of Swords situation. She's advising him on how to deal with you. Leave her hanging. She'll come back. You understand what I'm saying? Like, she'll, it's like she's not strong enough and she'll go wherever you want her to go. Like, if you, it's like some type of brain manipulation, like, trickery or something. Pimping ain't no illusion, y'all. I swear to God, it's like, she's coaching him that. She'll go burn down the village with you if you want. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you... It's like if you mishandle a woman. If you, if, 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 if you show them love in the beginning. Right? And then you mishandle them. They'll always drift trying to chase in the illusion that you'll go back to being what you presented to them. In the beginning, they'll be in a battle against the shadow and the light. Do you understand what I'm saying? They'll chase trying to find out the secrets. Is it is it me? Did I do something wrong? Regardless of how stifled, hurt, bored they feel because 
this person clearly has options. This person has you and someone else that he wants, he or she needs to work in unison to pull off whatever this is that you know what I'm saying to take care of him because this is the four coins four coins represents financial security and stability do you understand this person doesn't have it the king of pinnacles the king of diamonds the king of spears I mean that's spirit oh god I'm getting so frustrated this person lacks it the mother is like if you're not going to get it I'm going to teach you how to manipulate this woman. You want to bring him into your club. You're going to make him happy. Then you're going to treat him like shit. And then they're going to fight amongst each other. The more that you can get them to fight and compete amongst each other, the more that you gain. The more that they'll give. The more that they'll fight for recognition. Who's the better tapestress? Who's gaining? You. Did you have to do any work? No. As long as you can have them fighting and competing and working against each other, you win. The signs was there. The sign was there. The signs was there. I know for sure before the winter, I don't. The seven of wands going into the eight of wands. Like the signs were already there. You already know you're too beautiful. Like you're not going to run away with this man. And it's going to turn into this beautiful fantasy. Like that's some bullshit. These people see you as weak. You know. The seven of wands is when the opposition is against you. And you're defending yourself. You understand. These people can see you as defenseless. They think that you're going to run away with anything that they're going to tell you. That they'll that, that you're going to take it. That you're going to put up with it. You understand? That you'll work yourself tires, tirelessly and give, give, give. This person really thinks that they're going to have the choice to leave you behind. To leave you stifled, bored, and stuck. And if they leave you stifled, bored, and stuck, you'll fall a victim to the illusion and you'll run back. But I don't think you're doing that. Because you don't compare what you don't compete with. The signs are already with you. Don't run towards that. You deserve better. This is not going to work out. This king doesn't have anything to give you. If you want to go in that direction towards that person and fall victim to your illusion, God will send you there or God will help you be the pillar of strength that you need. Take your power back. Stop drinking and driving your vehicle. Okay? Or you will crash. It's like, instead of, take this person and throw them away. Take your power back. This person could have been literally using you because you were the magician. The more that they kept you drunk, the more you couldn't see. Ace of Wands, start your world over and get the fuck away from this person. You deserve better, yeah. I am so serious. Like, this is like, this is sick. Like, what type of, what type of mother is this? This is crazy. I gotta go to this. Peace.